Now, beloved in the Christian church, beloved in the Christian church, this is a very urgent, urgent message, a very urgent, urgent message called, When Grace is a Curse, When Grace is a Curse. Now, beloved, the Bible teaches, for we are not under the law, we are under grace. Now, what does this really mean? This means we're not under the curse of the law. We're not under the condemnation of the law meaning that we're not condemned by the law under the New Testament dispensation. It doesn't mean we don't have to obey God's declaration of law. It doesn't mean that we have universal justification. We're not subject to keep God's order to be saved. It just simply means that we're not under the curse of the law if we disobey, if we make a mistake, where we can be forgiven and we can be of our sins and come back to the news of our relationship with God and the news of life with Him. Jesus says... Um, Jesus says, repentance is the way to go. He says, in the Testament dispensation, he says, um, if you love and keep my commandments, my commandments are not grievous, as Jesus said in the New Testament. But he also says, um, but be ye hearers of the word, do his word, sorry, and not hearers only receiving yourself, but by laws and knowledge of sin. But he also says, in the New Testament, he says, um, Romans, he says, Romans says, we're not under all, but we're under grace. And so, we're not, we're not, we're not condemned by law, beloved. We're not condemned by law. We're, we're, we're under grace. But that's the thing. Grace does not give us license to sin, beloved. Grace is no license to sin. Grace is no license to sin, beloved, in the Adventist Church and the other Christian denominations. We think in this new morality teaching, because we have grace, we can eat pork and and shrimp and lobster and fornicate and commit adultery and uh, dance and drink alcohol and, and smoke and drink and you smoke crack cocaine. No. Our body to the Holy Ghost, which is in you, and you for you're bought up you bought the price and you're not your own. That's the Bible in first Corinthians number ten. And God will God will kill those who destroy their own bodies below the average church. So that's a lifestyle decision right there. And the Sabbath question that's a commandment keeping question right there. Of the fourth commandment, God wants us to regulate our time. I keep one day, the whole day holy, seven days a week holy, and not break the Sabbath we have in church and other Christian denominations. So He wants us to care for our bodies, keep the Sabbath holy, and not smoke and drink. And, and He wants us to pray um, to Him three times a day morning, noon, morning, evening, and probably even noon as well. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this day. And go on with mercy and blessings. I'm asking that the people will follow truth for the last days and not be deceived by Satan and and, 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 and his day deceptions and take care of their bodies and that they will be able to also um, forgive those who trust us against the Lord. And ask the Lord, I, I in his last days, to help them to be able to know the grace uh, Grace is a curse only if they decide they have to have license for for, for sin. You just got some prayer, man. God bless you, man. Not the villain.